All right, Sunday morning, we're back again with another Sunday lunch. This is a brand new one. This is Roe in Heaton. Sister restaurant to Rebel in Heaton. We've been at Rebel before, the food's good there. A lot of you don't seem to understand my accent, so when I say Heaton, it's like the actor Michael Keaton. Keaton, Keaton, Heaton. So this is the first Sunday that they've been doing Sunday lunches, and we thought we'll give it a shot because I have a feeling it's gonna be really good. So it's two courses for 20 pound or three courses for 27 a selection of starters and desserts as well as the main thing the Sunday dinner don't think you can just order the Sunday dinner by itself there's also some sides you can order the meat is all supplied by Block and Bottle which is also a good sign so let's see what it's all about as we often do we're going to start off with my absolutely appalling Google Earth skills but this is what it looks like from the outside and he has a little bit of a view also of what it looks on the inside it didn't take long though for it to start filling up. We were sat in the window seats there because obviously they put the handsome people in the window. <laughs> so let's start things off with a very artsy pan out of the camera. But just so you can get a proper idea of what the menu looks like. Yeah, we'll have the choices of the starters and the mains. So with Negroni in hand, we'll kick things off. And that beef hash that I had there was up there as one of the best dishes I've had in the whole of 2024. It was absolutely amazing. Curried mussels and sourdough, which I'm assured were very tasty. Then these little shots here of the empty bowls. This just is a bit of a storytelling thing just to show that we've ate the food. Clever, isn't it? Now this is Tuesday's pork belly, and that is not a euphemism. We also got a side of the cauliflower cheese, and I had the salt aged sirloin. Now the plates do look a little bit sparse. There's not a great deal on them, and I think that may be where they might get you a little bit. So it's two courses for 20 pound, which is unbelievable value. And the dinner was sufficient. It did fill up with the starters as well, but I think, um, but I think if you want a really, really good feed, you'd probably have to buy a couple of the extra sides. We were tempted to get the hispy cabbage as well, as well as the cauliflower cheese, but we just stuck with only one side just to try and keep the cost down because we thought with our drinks, it was going to be quite expensive as well anyway. I mean, to be fair, you did get two roasties, which are well cooked, a nice slab of carrot, a bit of the old uh, mashed potato or pom puree, a little bit of cabbage, really nice, home cooked traditional Yorkshire pudding on top of the meat. You know what? The food was unbelievable value and unbelievably well cooked. The amount of times that we go for meals where something is very simple as, as the chef not tasting things and not putting enough salt on things. It's just, it happens so often, but this was all perfectly seasoned really well cooked. Every single element of it was absolutely bang on. And that's what made this such a good Sunday dinner. So onto the bill and this guy here, this is Mr. Bill Pia. So the bill came and yeah, as expected, 20 pound each, but when you add the extras on your drinks, came to 75. And when I made this video, I actually realized we didn't get charged for the cauliflower cheese. I feel like a right charlatan. Well, that was an amazing dinner. Out of all the ones we've done, so I've always seen his broad chair and Earl of Pitt Street are the two best, but I think that might actually now be the best Newcastle Sunday dinner. It was amazing, everything was seasoned really well. A few little gripes, to be honest. Didn't think service was that great, but it was the very first time we've been doing Sunday dinners, so I think we'll have to let them off. Also, we were sitting right in the window, and I was like, that's like Sandy Toxvig with my shoulders up, because the bench was quite high. I was on a high stool, it wasn't great for a Sunday dinner. But I guess they have to put people in the window so the passing trade can see people and drag people in off the street. So I accept that. But two courses for £20 is really good value. Bill was 75 altogether because I had... Did I have three? No, you had three wines. I had two Negronis. And we also had a side dish of the cauliflower cheese. So 75 all in. But with no drinks, just tap water, I would have been £20 per person. And to be honest, for that level of cooking, £20 per person is like insanity. 
the beef hash was one of the nicest dishes I've had this whole year. So I, it was very good, very good indeed. If you've got any recommendations where we should go next, hit up in the comments. Please give her a like and subscribe. There's plenty of other videos in the playlist for Sunday lunches around Newcastle. See you soon.